What's up everybody? Uh, if you guys uh, are just tuning into this video and you haven't seen my last video of uh, my black wall score, definitely go back, watch that video first, and then come back and watch this one. Uh, some really, really killer stuff I got here in this little lot here. Um, I did a trade on HotWheelsCollectors.com and got a uh, couple more of the uh, garage cars that I needed. Um, I'm going to do an update of what my collection looks like now. And um, one very soon of the 2011. Um, I want to take a quick minute to thank uh, Matt's McCarran, who uh, actually found me almost all of the JK's cars, all but one of them. So uh, I want to thank him uh, very much for, for that help. Uh, just unbelievable. So thank you, my man. I really do appreciate that. He did a video on everything. So along with those two cars, you guys saw I picked up a bunch of super vans. Well, here's another one. The Rare Serial Promotion Blue Super Van. It's got a few little nicks, scratches here and there, but just unbelievable shape. Really beautiful, beautiful van. This was one I saw for the first time on uh, WTFFOR. Uh, very, very cool. Like that. And um, another car that I, I really can't believe that I have. It, it's incredibly rare and incredibly sought after is the uh, good old pick em up hightail hauler real rider unbelievable to have this thing this thing is incredibly sought after for uh real rider collectors black wall collectors vintage collectors um unbelievable one of my good friends was actually lucky enough to just score one of these too i don't want to spoil the surprise but you guys will be seeing another one of these in another video really soon so uh very cool and uh incredibly awesome to have picked up both of those along with some really cool garage cars but let's get into some really really cool stuff here i uh also off hotwheelscollectors.com i purchased a lot of eight real riders uh this year being one of them a little race car and then we got the uh, Kellogg Serial Promotion version. And these here are all mint. The Fat Fender 40 Real Rider. Unbelievable. This thing is mint. Just absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful car there. Then I picked up another Cobra. The uh, Real Riders 427. This one here is in pretty much just as good a shape as the other one. Gorgeous. Very nice. Let's set these up so you guys can have something to look at. Now we'll get into uh, some of the really, really good stuff. Boom. A little Dodge pickup the motor sticking out not only that it's a high raker you could put the old east coast rake on it unbelievable and when i tell you what i paid for all these you guys can write in the comments below if you know anything about real riders you guys can tell me what you think of the price that i paid for these so not only did we have the white one but we got the blue one also unbelievable i keep saying unbelievable i got all of this stuff in today the last video you saw all of this stuff came in today that is the only issue right there i don't know if somebody tried coloring that black or, or what the deal is with that that's a little weird but just i mean if that's the only issue then uh we're looking pretty good well we're going to kind of backtrack here. You guys saw my original. This is actually my favorite real rider because this was my original one that I had as a kid. Blue Byway Man, Gray Hub. Well, you guys saw me pick up the mint white hub. And um, you also saw me pick up the Henry's Hauling 
plow truck. But do you guys remember something was missing off of this one? One of the lights. Well, what I did was I took a donor and I razor bladed the light off and uh, glued it on there. So now it looks mint. Oh, you guys saw me get this one in a lot a few days ago, about a week or so back. Missing the plow, missing a light, pretty nicked up. I told you I got a mint one coming, right? Well, here she is. Not even any stress marks in the plastic on the plow. Gorgeous. I mean, this thing is unbelievably nice. I keep saying unbelievably nice mint, but that's uh, there's no other words to describe these. I mean, these things are incredible. So uh, I have both Henry's hauling, well, both the ones that I know of anyways. And then probably the gem of the, the bunch, the last one of the lot, was the White Hub Ford Bronco. Now the only issue on this is some chrome loss on the back wheel and the back fender and that is being incredibly anal incredibly picky to me it doesn't matter i mean but this thing is gorgeous so for the two race cars the two dodges the two cars the two trucks and the bronco all eight of them okay 75 dollars that's what i paid for the, for all of them very cool huh actually i counted nine excuse me nine of them so very 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 cool i was extremely happy with the price you guys can let me know what you think about that so let's move some of this stuff out because we still have some great stuff to go now, a guy who I just met, Hot Wheels Steve-O, another guy with some unbelievable videos, unbelievable collection. Um, we ended up working a trade, and one of the cars I got in this trade, big surprise, another black wall, or another real rider, right? This here is the uh, Blue Woody, also high raker, which means the rear end jacks up. Very cool. Very nice shape. Incredibly psyched about that. But, 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 the real, the real deal here was, yes sir, another steering rig. You can see, you steer the wheel, the rig turns. Hence, steering rig. Arco oil. These things are absolutely gorgeous. When I say these things, it kind of gives away. There may be another one. Unbelievable. Cab over, flat face. Gorgeous. And uh, the other side is just as nice. So, we had a hell of a time working out a deal. Uh... Not that he was a bad guy or anything. We just both kind of uh, valued our stuff a little more than than it was worth. We both had a sentimental value was uh, exceeding retail value. So uh, we had a little bit of a hard time working a trade, but uh, we 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 came to a uh, a very good deal, I think, for both of us. So and last but certainly not least is the Hot Wheels steering rig. Now, I bet a bunch of you hardcore guys are going, wait a minute, Dread. Wrong cab. I know. It's supposed to be a white, flat face cab over cab. But, it's got a blue one. I have a white one on the way. It is in nowhere near the condition of this one. But, um, I actually have this same rig. It's all complete, but in much worse condition. So, we'll take this one off and show you. Hot Wheels and the steering mechanism. Absolutely gorgeous. Many, many more of these will be coming into my collection. I have fallen in love with these steering rigs. 
trucks in general. I, I, I really do love trucks in general, so big thank you to Hot Wheels Steve. And uh that's my collection, man, and it's growing fast. Much more stuff to come. I've been buying like a madman. Uh been getting a lot of overtime at work, so a lot of extra scottoge and uh we'll be uh definitely definitely reviewing more new stuff more old stuff so uh very very cool it's your boy dread i'm out